John, Attorney General Barr, not a doctor, uh, don't know what his worldwide credentials are, but he's very sure that we should get reparations from China for the COVID virus. I see senators on TV saying slam dunk, you know, they know the story. China lied and China's got to pay up. China's hurt. China's unsettled. China is going to lash out. In other words, the United States is threatened by an aggressive China. We better watch out. Now, just the other day in an interview, you said uh, almost the opposite. John, is America about to be attacked by an aggressive China? Or does China have some concern about the United States? I think you know the answer to that, James. Uh, look, I, I mean, the slightly longer answer to your very important question uh, is that throughout my life, I've counted myself very, very fortunate not to have been blown up by the United States. That is, blown up in a nuclear war or... Uh, to be a victim of one of its, uh, uh, of one of its, uh, what I would call regular nervous breakdowns. It's going through one at the moment. Uh, this new Harris poll has found that, um, 70, 77% of Americans blame China for the coronavirus outbreak. Uh, 54% state that China owes the United States uh, reparations uh, and that it's acted irresponsibly. So it is all somebody else's fault. It's not the fault of the most disgraceful health system, non-system on earth that has left millions of, of Americans vulnerable to and unprepared for the onslaught of this virus. The fact that the United States is the only developed country on earth without an organized health system. That's the reason the United States is now apparently the epicenter of this virus. Uh, there's no other reason.